Most of us grew up with classic American education. You know, you go through a unit, whether it was math, social studies, or English, and at the end of the unit, you had a test. Then you moved on to the next unit because you had to get, you had to get through all the all the chapters by the end of the school year. And some kids would do well, some wouldn't. Some kids got good grades and some didn't. In the past, we would just move on to the next chapter in the book. And sorry if you didn't get that, maybe at the end of the year review, we'll, we'll try and touch on that. We wanted to get away from that practice. We made sure that we had a time in the day where if students did not master the skill that was previously taught, we gave them time to master that. So these formatives are a way of assessing everything that you have learned about prime and composite numbers. So we're going to go ahead and get up our math offices. Put your first, last name on this test. Is this a test that you have to take really fast? No. What we do is we teach an objective, and that objective is calendared out for us. And at the end of teaching that objective, we would give a formative assessment, which is usually on Friday. The objectives usually last about a week. And based on the results of that formative assessment, we know if students have mastered that concept or if they have not mastered that. Then what teachers do is they get together as a grade level and they look at their formatives and they look at what students mastered that formative and which didn't and they divide students into the reteach group and into the enriched group. And so how many reteaches are you looking I'm at? I'm looking at five. You're looking five at reteach, yep. Crystal, do you have your number yet? Yes, nine. Matt, what were your numbers? Um, eight. One of the things that we found through our experience with Reteach and Enrich is that the teacher who had a very good turnout on that formative assessment, they did something right in that classroom. They did something right with their instruction on that objective. Is it safe to say a composite number is a number that has more than two factors? Yes. yes. Very good. All right. That's what we're going to write down. So we felt that that teacher would be the most appropriate person to teach the Reteach group. I think they just need a little more time on this is what it looks like. Exactly. Well, I'm open to doing reteach for prime and composite. What about what you've got planned, Matt? You had some well, enrichments planned, put, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I put three enriched programs together, three activities. I took what you had, and then I took what you had, and I took a, a sample on Marilyn Burns. And I just kind of read all three of them, and I wrote, I redid them on my board, on my one of the poster boards, and I wrote it in like a child-friendly version of Of the it. divisibility rules? Yeah, and I gave an example underneath each one. All right, so where are we all set? Everybody feel comfy? Sounds yep, good I think to me. So. Thank you, Cozy. That following week, every day, Monday through Friday, from 1230 to 1 o'clock, we have reteach and enrich going on school-wide. So the teachers that are teaching reteach, they have that reteach group, and they stay with that group of students for that entire week. The enrichment students, they're split up, and they would rotate between all of the other teachers in that grade level. Today in reteach, we're going to be going over prime and composite numbers. I think reteach is kind of nice because if you don't understand something, you won't go on until you understand it, so you won't be confused with anything else. And the teachers do help you. I realize that it's not really bad, it's just that you just need a little bit more help with it. You guys did really well on your formative last week, and so today is your chance to do an enrichment portion. I really want to challenge you, and I'm giving you that option. Do you want to do prime and composite zero to 100? Or do you want to try prime and composite 0 to 200 using those digits? With a thumbs up, how many of you guys want to do 100 to 200? All right, I'm going to go for the 200 too, and I'll help you out, and I'll help you out as well. We knew that it worked because the very year that we took our AIMS or our standardized tests, our school became an excelling school. Our achievement is the highest in the state of Arizona, so that's something that we're very proud of. When, when we hold students accountable for very specific standards and we expect all of them to know that standard. Then we hold ourselves accountable for getting that job done. And that is a very significant shift from simply saying, you know what, I made it all the way through the textbook. 